How's it going? It's uh, Friday, September 21st, 2012. I'm walking down a uh, deal with the bank and uh, and um, catch a bus to BMP to hopefully deal with a license issue. One of my endorsements is expiring which would invalidate my license temporarily even though my license is paid till 2018 uh, the endorsement has a separate expiration date and it's written right on the license so I would either have to pay to re-roll the license or uh, uh, pay to get my fingerprints and background check for the hazmat endorsement on my license so I'm going to try to deal with that. That's what I'm going to do today. I'll go from there. This bank's got a nice garden on this side. Pretty wild. Alright, that's done. Got about five minutes to spare to catch the bus. It's about coming about ten minutes. So pretty cool. We got a uh, change for the bus. Too bad it doesn't go all the way up to DMV. But it comes within a mile of it so we can walk there. And now for the long walk down the highway to DMV. <laughs> and bus uh, systems have big gaps in them around here. Anyway. So far, so good. Hopefully they're not going to tell me to come back or something. Which they might, because they... I think last year they... Or a couple years ago, rather. They made me um, get my fingerprints at the uh, police department. The police department gave me another bill for that. So, this may not be easy. Well, done with the DMV. They said they... They aren't sure if they're going to send me an updated license in the mail or not. They said if I don't get one, to come back in. <laughs> My license is so loaded with endorsements and stuff that they don't really know how to handle it. Anyway, I'm taking a long walk back to where the buses go. It's possible that they're going to be on uh, lunch for another hour, though. So, all right, I got a Big Mac. Jesus, four dollars and twenty cents is insane. Um, waiting for a bus. I don't know if the bus is even gonna come. It's like ten after one. They may go on lunch, <laughs> which means they might not come for an hour and twenty minutes. So, I'll just hang out. Well, apparently I'm waiting for the bus at lunchtime, so <laughs> I'm starting to walk. I'll probably be home in an hour. Anyway, I can stop and uh, see about getting uh, uh, bolts for the manifold. Yes. <laughs> The transportation situation is really, really throws a wrench in being able to get out of this mess. Anyway, I'm coming up on the uh, city limits now. I know the bus is going to come after I walk a two or three miles. It's a nice day anyway. Yeah, it's a long walk. There's a Goodwill store. Nothing I can really get right now. Ugh. I 
gotta be a better way. I'm in a rut. Well, I'm half dead from walking. These shoes are not good for walking. Probably dress shoes. Um, I'm gonna. Kroger's is right over there, over the hill. Bus coming like a half an hour up here. The bus they just walked away from. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get some water. I have like five gallons of water. And, uh, that'll be good. That'll save me a trip for a little bit. get some Coca Cola, some water, and some pepper. Go sit over there and wait for the darn bus. Yeah, not sure what happened to the Taco Bell. It looks like they're putting it together the same exact way it was. Weird. I don't think it had a fire or anything. I don't know. Hey, anyway, these shoes are like <laughs> definitely not hiking shoes. I think I got some Dr. Scholl's inserts or something. I got these at the uh, thrift shop. The ASPCA I'm going to work on this for a little bit. i got to figure out how to get that crossover tube out of here. I mean, you can't even see this stupid thing, so I don't know how the heck I'm going to pull that off. I've seen pictures online, so <laughs> I know pretty much where it is. I got a lot of the crap pulled out of the way and hooked the... Uh, these lines, a sensor for this, whatever it is, and a sensor for the uh, fan switch. I just had all this crap off. Debating whether I should pull <laughs> pull that off or just skip it, because um, there's two bolts in the back. They're 12 millimeter bolts. One's like right there. The other one's across. I think that's the only two holding this on. If that's the case, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Well, there's one of them. The other one's probably going to be a little bit easier to get at than that. I'm hoping there's not a third one under it. Well, of course, there's stupid brackets in the way. I'm going to have to pull that. By the way, this here is the uh, bleeder screw for the coolant system in these. A lot of these cars have idle problems. And you gotta bleed the uh, coolant system for them to work, the idles to work right. And that's how you bleed them. You fill the coolant system until it flows out of it. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> I got the bracket off anyway. Um, it's straightforward, all right, but not without its complications. Well, the good news is that there was only two bolts. So what there is, there's some crossover pipe. That's what's leaking on this car. It attaches to the base of this assembly. It should just pop right out of here. Hmm. Yeah, it pulled right out. You can see this seal's no good. Looks like that's been leaking there. You know what I think happened with this car? Somebody put a uh, radiator flush in it and never uh, rinsed it out and it just routed everything out. Alright, all we got to do is find out the, the, that big hole right there. That's where the tube end goes into. I got a plastic bag and put all this crap in it. Um, And you can see the tube right there. It's a little dark. And that's the tube right there. And I'm thinking in the middle it's got to be leaking from that tube. This tube doesn't really look too old though. That's the weird part of it. Maybe it was just installed improperly. Oh, incredibly, I should be able to uninstall this tube from up here. I can reach it. Down there, you can actually reach the bracket if you reach down far enough. Feels like a 12 millimeter. And pull that bracket. There's only one bolt 
The only problem is you have to get under the car to put it back on because you got to line the um, O-ring up with the um, with the uh, water pump. Well, it's getting too dark. I'm gonna have to wrap it up. If I knew what size that bolt was, I could probably get a box and 12-point wrench on it. I can't uh, seem to get a grip on it for some reason. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to find a way to put this up on car ramps or something. My car ramps are tied up under a vehicle in storage. George's is are uh, missing. I don't know where his went. He probably sold them. Uh, I gotta figure this out. It's a shame this is on a hill. I'd feel safer if this was on a flat area. I really hate laying under this car on a jacked up on a hill on a street. Well, I'm out of meat, but I got some potatoes for dinner. I had a Big Mac earlier.